uh, a team logo on a Michelangelo art robot. So first off, uh, what is the robot? And then we can get onto the an example of a logo and so on. Let's fly, fly with me, fly with me if you will. Yeah. Now, this, let's see if we make this a little bit bigger for you. This is an example of a team logo. This is Alpha Secondary's Eagles. And up here is the drawing robot. This is a Michelangelo 5. It hangs on a window or a whiteboard or whatever you want. And it drags the pen around in this thing. See those little screw on the bottom? And on the back of there is a little motor that lifts it off the wall. And that's how it does all of this. But now you need to know how to get a picture into the robot so that it does its job. So follow along. Uh, speaking of robots, that's a robot. Yeah, that's, that's our robot arm. But that's for another video. So, I have on my desktop here, I have their school logo, which I found on the Weeb. And I'm going to open in Inkscape, which is a free art program. I'm going to open by simply dragging it in and saying, OK. And here's my logo. Now I also want for uh, for reasons that will become a little bit clearer later. No, let's let's try that again. I want to set this paper size under here to A2, which is the maximum recommended size of a drawing on that Michelangelo 5 robot. Okay. Now this image, I can use a feature called Trace Bitmap, which you can also find under uh, Path Trace Bitmap. It'll open a menu here. Sometimes it might be minimized on the side like like oh my pictures in the way you can't see that sometimes it might be minimized on the side like this and you've got to click it and make it show up so uh, what I really want is trace bitmap now uh, I want to turn on live preview so I can see it and I find that in the case of this particular image what works for me is a brightness cutoff experiment with these values in here get a good preview and when you find what you like then you can hit OK now it looks like it just turned part of the picture black, but what it's really done is it's put a set of, it's put the new vector on top of this bitmap. Uh, and of course, this is a step you only have to do if your school doesn't provide you the logo in a vector. Now, it looks like this vector, this new vector is really small compared to our paper. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold shift and control. Um, sorry, just control. And that way I can, size it up till it nearly fills the paper. Uh, and what I want to do here is I'm, I'm making this big enough so that, uh, let's try, uh, see, I, it takes me a moment to explain myself. So st st give me a second while I think this through. I want to make this explanation clear. Um, one of the things about vectors is it's act, it's made of lines that can scale. You saw the way we just made this with the control. We made this bigger and smaller and it scales much better than a bitmap would. And the robot only understands vectors. Right now these vectors are filled in all these dark areas. If I said fill to nothing by clicking here, see it completely disappears. If I choose stroke and I say give me a black stroke, it only does the outlines. These are the lines that right now the robot will draw. So it'll leave all those dark areas empty. And what we'd like to see, or what I'd like to see, is the dark areas filled in by the robot so that they, the way we saw on the poster back there. Uh, the wonderful people at Evil Mad Scientist Laboratories have written, a, they have their own drawing robot that sits flat on a table, and it's called the Eggbot. Uh, and they have a, a system in here that does a hatch fill. And this hatch fill, I want to put my uh, hatching steps at 2.4. Now, the reason for this is I like to use a Sharpie, a Sharpie. And the tip of a new Sharpie, that dot right there, is just under a millimeter. It's about 0.8 millimeters in diameter. So this hatch step is three, three times the size of this tip. Now... Uh, that way, when uh, I apply this change that you're going to see on the screen here, it's going to work for a second, blah, 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 and voila, we get, we get all these lines filled in here. 
and we can put them diagonally we can put them vertically you can experiment with that let me show you again in the extensions here there is an option here for angle and if you put 90 degrees they'd be vertical if you put 45 they'd be diagonal and so on uh, it's my experience. Uh, the last drawing that we saw on the wall back back over back over there, that picture you saw, we ran that at four. So they were too far apart. And a 2.4 should bring them together just perfect. Yeah. If I'm always looking over there, it's because that's where I can see my, my OBS, my, my camera view. Now, uh, we've got our design and it looks like it's about the right size. Uh, if you should forget to scale this picture up before you do the lines, it will be scaled up when you load it into the drawing robot software. So those lines will get further apart because they'll be they'll be wider, they'll be scaled. Uh, now let's take the step and take that into the robot. So I'm going to save this out as a. You can do an SVG or a DXF. Uh, I guess we'll we'll go with SVG. Why not? So alpha this happens to be from alpha secondary school in vancouver canada and i've already got my michelangelo software running here you can see it's it's got a simulation of the the robot here's the home position here's a little interpretation of the pen holder and i can just drag that svg in here and there's our logo and you can see the lines when i zoom in close so you see it automatically filled it right to this gray line, which is the margins, the safety margin on the piece of paper. Uh, and that's basically all we have to do. I'm, I, I can connect to the robot. Well, if I, if I have my USB plugged in, I could connect to the robot. I could, I could save this out to an SD card and then draw it from there. Uh, I'm currently using that USB cam cable to drive the camera. So I didn't think this through very well. <sighs> but uh, from here, I can either um, connect and then home it and then hit start and it would draw this live or I can as I said save it to an SD card and then load the SD card into the robot and home it and then hit start and away we go drawing made so that's it now what if you have a multicolor drawing well if you have a multicolor drawing then I suggest you split the drawing into each of its separate colors and do e each of them one at a time like this uh, it's three separate drawings but it should still work out to be the same thing. Uh, that is my advice for now. Uh, if you have further questions, uh, please ask in the comments below. Like, share, and subscribe. Support us at marginallyclever.com. Tell all your friends while we build sweet, sweet robots. And, and I will see you next time. It's been Dan. You've been great. I'm out.